Want to build a Tableau dashboard from scratch that to online without downloading the software? You're in the right video. Today we are going to build like a sales and order dashboard using Tableau that to Tableau online. Let's get started right away. First of all you need to go to this website. I'll put the link in the description and I'm going to click on sign in. I already have an account. If you don't, you can go and first sign up. And then I can just enter my credentials here. Right. This is step number 1. Then you get like probably two or three seconds and it takes time to load. And then I can go here and click on create and then say web authoring. Now Tableau workbook will open and it will ask you to upload a file. I'm going to upload the data. And the name of the file is sales data final. Then it does uploading. And it loads for a bit and then you can click on update now and then just create extract okay so this will be able to bring the data into tableau like here we are using a csv file so it takes a bit of time it took only 10 seconds but yeah now we have the data more or less loaded now we can go to this like sheet one uh, so we we have basically some data about orders. Okay, we have like the channel of the order like social Google things like that. I'll just drag this to rows. You'll see what are the values there. So you have direct Google other social from which channel customers came and made the order. Then we have date ordered gender order number of the customer user the state and also uh, what is the status of the order. If I drag this here. You'll see that we have cancelled orders and finished orders as well and we also have the age and the total order total in that order number right how much did they spend how much did the customer spend we also have state this is basically some u.s states right like california florida georgia louisiana right mostly u.s states so we have this data okay so we're going to answer a few business questions using tableau i'm just going to drag them back okay First of all, let's say we want to see per state, what is the total revenue or like total order total, right? How can we do that? So we can first drag state, right? We can drag state to rows. And then I can drag order total to columns and automatically it will compute the sum. Okay. Now we see, right? For example, Tennessee had the highest like revenue, right? We can clearly see that. Then we have an option in Tableau. If you go to show me. And if you see on the left side, state is recognized as a geography column. So we can click on this chart. And what this will do now is in the map of US chart, like for example, this is California. It is putting the values, right? Total order total was 38,273. That is going to the California state in the map, right? So this is a nice visual way of seeing it. And as you see, the darkest color is nothing but Tennessee because it had the highest number of I mean highest revenue right so this is something you can do suppose you want to uh, you know, give labels to this we can also drag order total into label and by doing that we get the actual numbers also here suppose you want to play around a little bit with the colors you can also do that so I can click on color edit colors and instead of just this I can give some other combination as well uh, let's choose something like red, green, gold. Now you'll see, right, uh, the highest gets green, the middle get like kind of orangish gold and then the lower ones get red, right? You can do this. And you can also change the background a little bit. You can click on map, background map and let's say I click on outdoors. Then I get like a, yeah, theme like this, right? So you can play around, change as you want. So this is a way, nice way to see, okay, the map and also like the intensity, which state has the highest revenue and uh, things like that. I'll just go here and I'll just convert back to the original one, the light one, because then the text will be clear, right? So let's, let's keep it at this and you can give a name, right? So sheet one, let me name it as revenue per state. Okay, 
and I just delete this and I can just click OK. You can of course change the text, make it bold and all that. But yeah, I think this should be fine. Okay, revenue per state. This is a nice start already. Suppose I want to do something else. Let's say I want to see the revenue per age group. I've already just created a heading here, right? Revenue per age group. Uh, let's let's see what we can do. I'll drag age first here. And you'll notice that age is a continuous number, right? 21, 22, 23, so on. Um, and it's, it's displayed as continuous here, right? So if I drag like total revenue or sum of order total here, doesn't really make that much sense. As you see, you get something like this, right? How can we solve this problem? I'll just drag out age. I'll drag out order total. So for age, we can make it like bins. So you can go to age, click on create and say bins. So put it into ranges, right? 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. Let me give it a name age bin or something. Uh, and then yeah, size of bins 10 and minimum max is 19 and 58 according to the data that's fed in by default. Size of bins can be 10. I can just close this. And now age bin is created. Now I can bring age bin to column and I can do sum of order total, right? And then same order total, I can also drag it to label just to see the values. Now, if you wanna give these alternate names like ranges, come down here somewhere uh, and then just do a right click and click on edit alias, right? This is 40, let's say you wanna make it 40 to 50. You can do that, right? Just showing you an example. So it will automatically change, right? Or we could select the whole graph and also still have an option to, you know, edit the alias, right? Just do a right click, edit alias. And this is 20 to 30, right? You can do this, right? Just showing you how it, it, it can be done. And then, right, this is there. If you wanna make it like continuous histogram type, you can go here and click on continuous then it becomes kind of like histogram, right? Distribution. So this can also be done if you want, okay? So this is up to you. If you want to leave it discrete, you can come back and select here and leave it discrete, right? It totally doesn't matter. So revenue per age group, we see 20 to 30, then yeah, 30 to 40. Let me also make uh, this alias name. Yes. Right, so 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 have secured the highest amount of revenue if you see in the data, right? And uh, this is basically 10 to 20 or we could also say less than 20, right? And the last one is more than 50. So this is how you can do like a simple bar graph with age bin and total revenue. Okay, now that we have done, at some point you wanna save and publish this, you can go here, right? And you can say publish as, give this workbook a name, let's say sales order analysis. And I can just click on simply publish, okay? You can do that, it will become public, but you can still continue editing it if you want. Okay, it will take some time to load. So we are done with this revenue per age group. Let's move on. Let me go and create a new sheet. Let's say I want to see revenue, but female revenue separately and male revenue separately because in gender, we have two values, right? If I drag it here, you'll see female and male. How can we do that? For that, we need to create like a calculated field. Okay. So for that, what you can do, you can go here, click, say calculated field, and then I'll say female revenue. And you can say if gender, right? You can put this within box. If gender is, I think the values are like this. So if you can say if gender is female, then, you know, do the order total, which is nothing but the revenue, right? And end. Okay, this is pretty simple. I just copy this for the mail also it'll be useful for us. So I'll click on okay. And I'll go and create another calculated field. <coughs> and I call it mail revenue. 
and then I just feed this in instead of female I you know I just need to change this to male so if gender is male then do the sum of order total and I click on ok all right let me remove gender now I can bring in both right I can do female revenue and I can also do male revenue and let's say I want to do it per state I can bring state to columns and now we see right female revenue male revenue this this is a nice way to do it if I want to flip the axis I can you know put these two on the columns and then bring this down to you know rows and then suppose I want to swap the axis for this one the one on the left I can also go here and then I can say format worksheet and yeah if I want to remove grid lines I can do that on top of that I can also click on these graphs and you know change something if I want to add a trend line marking label I can change the type of graph all that can be done okay so basically this shows okay in like for female which state is highest for male which state is highest we know in both now obviously uh, Tennessee seems the highest but there are some other interesting trends that we can observe in each category right states which got more male revenue or female revenue right this will help us give the such insights and I can give this a name uh, revenue per state and then say gender wise or something like that okay so that's another interesting thing we can do moving on let's say we want to find the proportion of revenue we have made from the various channels what can you do you can bring channels here can bring sum of order total here okay and suppose you want to change this to a pie chart you can change it to a pie chart right and yeah like you know you have a small pie chart here suppose you want to add like labels you can also add labels and like suppose you want to do percentage right you can come here and let's say quick table calculation percentage of total so you'll get the proportion of all that right basically social is 20.91 blue direct is 36.85 and so on okay so this is nothing but can give it a name uh, revenue distribution per channel okay so this is a simple uh, graph that you can do so also if we want to you know make this a little bit bigger you can go here and click on entire view that way we you know we get a bigger pie chart okay let's do one more quick thing i'll just create another new sheet let's say i want to see per month right we also have date ordered per month what's the revenue so i can drag date ordered there and then i can also uh, drag order total Okay, we get a line graph and if you click on the plus we also get the quarter if you click on the plus you get the month I don't need the quarter so I'll remove that and I also don't need the year right I want to see it continuously so I leave it at month and then within the month if I want to display a format like month and the year I can click on this and now I get this nice uh, graph right so this is basically revenue per month We can see it nicely increase uh, till April and then it drops back down. So revenue per month. This is another interesting data point. Now suppose we want to put all of these together into a single dashboard. Can we do that? Yes, definitely. You can go here and say new dashboard. Okay, here you have a lot of size options. Uh, you know, you can say fix it. You can also say automatic. Uh, dashboard will resize itself automatically I can click on floating and then I can you know simply drag all the sheets right I can drag sheet one which was our revenue per state you know I can just make it bigger I can just move it around right a little bit or I can drag it to the this side then let me also drag sheet two then sheet three sheet 4 and also sheet 5 right now we can try and adjust 
each of them right you can drag and move it wherever you want so I can like leave revenue per state here let's say I want to move this a little bit up um, yeah revenue per age group I can also drag this a little bit make it longer yes and then yeah we have distribution of revenue per channel you can just bring this up it's a nice and small graph right and then revenue per month we got to adjust this like I can place it here and then we also have uh, I think this is per gender wise probably and this uh, you know this is something I'll probably just move to here and then we have this graph which I think will be hard to fit in here but yeah let me try to just drag it make it bigger okay probably we don't need this graph here we, we can remove and uh, yeah just make this a little more bigger and drag this down so I can see the months all right and maybe I'll just remove the order total from here and uh, yeah just drag this a little bit this side so yeah we have four graphs right revenue per state revenue per age group revenue distribution per channel and revenue per month like we have all this data if I want I can also just drag this a little bit this side okay once this arrangement all is done we can also start to add filters right let's say I want to add a filter I can just go click on this first then there's an option like say filters let's say I put state as a filter Okay. I don't want it like this I want it more like a drop down I can click here and say multiple values drop down right then I can just reduce the size of this and move this a little bit here right so then we have filters so if I go and say select only Florida here you'll just see the revenue for Florida okay but suppose I want this to apply to all the graphs how can we do that for that you know I can go here again just click on this and say use as filter okay once that is done if I click on California you know then you see all the values change accordingly right all the values are showing only for California if I check for you know New Mexico then only the New Mexico values are considered in all the graphs so you can make one one particular graph or chart as a filter and apply it to all the graphs as well this is also very much possible right and yeah you can hold control and select more and then you know those states will get selected accordingly as you see okay so that's it pretty much we have built our first dashboard with all these four uh, graphs right I removed the other graph because it doesn't fit in here but this is a nice start um, for you to start building a dashboard get started and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed the video I am putting the link of the file to the data and also the dashboard follow along and do it I'll see you again in another video till then take care bye